we have our two covers front and back covered with our paper and as I said before it doesn't matter that this is showing any of the um, cardboard is showing because it's going to be covered up with our little accordion booklet um, so the first thing that we want to do is you'll see in the book that's already made our cording and the tie for our book comes out of or is placed into the back so it's placed in between the cover and the last page of the book so we want to take whatever is going to be your back page your back cover and we want to take the accordion book it should, your, it should look like this if yours is 12 inches long there should be two pieces on either side that go up so this is going to get glued right on there but first we want to add our cording so whatever you've decided is going to be your cording we want to get that out first and this the uh, length is going to depend of course on the child that you're making it for they have smaller necks and um, I'm going to use let's see I'm going to use 24, about 28 inches. So I've got about 30 inches. Uh, if you give more than what you think you need, that's going to actually be better. So we are going to have our cording put both ends. We want it to come off about an inch or more from the edge, from the bottom edge of our book, back book cover, and it's going to get glued directly on here. Actually, if you want to put a piece of tape down here to hold it, you could do that. A good idea might be to first get our little beads on there. That way we'll be able to string on the beads and tie the knot beneath the bead and then you want to tie your knot very very much near the bottom. The knot needs to be just big enough so this bead won't come out the bottom. And if you see how this is starting to fray. All you need to do is paint that bottom edge with a little bit of your tacky glue. Mine's a little bit thinned down because it was getting thick. Just going to trim off that piece and that will keep it so this won't continue to unravel. So we'll do that for both edges. And this glue will dry clear so we don't have to worry about it. But it'll just hold it so it won't continue to unravel. So we have our necklace piece and my beads are extending about not quite an inch, maybe an inch total. Now I've got about 14 or so inches and I'm going to use that until I close it up and then I'll trim it later. So again, we're going to take our glue
we're going to put glue all along the base. Actually, let's put a ribbon down first. Find the halfway point. Add that right on your book. Now you want to make sure that you've got enough glue on the entire back cover so that it will secure the pages of our book. So I'm just going to paint the whole back piece. I'm being very generous with that glue. You want to pinch it at the top so that the, the top portion of our necklace is tight together on the top and the bottom. Then we'll take our back piece and add that right on top. Give it some good pressure. You want that to really stick. And then we can take the front part of our book and we're going to glue the first page of our booklet to our cover. Again, be generous with your glue. And lay the first piece right on top. So what you should have now is your basic book. The front cover, the back cover, and we're going to let all of our glue dry before we add our embellishments. Now the type of embellishments you'll want to add to your booklet, what I have is some like an epoxy resin type of sticker. I've added some small, some book paper, some stickers, any of your little tiny text, of course my photos. You can add mats to your photos if you've got enough room. Uh, for this booklet, I just printed off from my computer and then aged the, the lettering there for each of the photos, and you'll see that I staggered them. So it's good. it gives it a little bit of an interest. So one photo is down, the next one's up, and I've alternated the names. And then in the back, another another resin piece then just a piece of paper. For this one I've got another little sticker. Um, just any type of rub-ons or little letters, little words. If you have a Dymo labeler that's what this resembles, is a dime, one of those Dymo labelers. That would, that, that would be a good thing to use. And this one just has a little, just small little tickets embellishments. A small little file folder. And different style of lettering for the words. And a little charm. So once you get all your little photos and your embellishments in there, you'll want to tie up your booklet and then trim your ribbon as necessary. For this booklet I've trimmed it so that it will go in a knot, um, but for a small child who where a knot might be a little bit more difficult to do, you might want to leave them a little bit longer, the ribbon edges, so they'll be able to tie it in a bow. It's also easier for them to open 
if it's in a bow, and then they can share their secret memories. And for this one, because I wasn't necessarily going to give it to anyone in particular, I just kept the, the cording long and just made a little a knot in it. But once you pass it to your precious little girl who wants to have some secret memories and some photos for the little um, photo necklace, then you can trim it to their size. I can see these uh, being great, obviously, for, for little girls. It would be a great Girl Scout project. Um, really anything that a uh, young little girl might want to save her special memories and pictures of her beloved friends.